I've lost it. I've lost it. I just completely lost it. I don't know where it went. I must have forgotten it somewhere. If somebody has found it, please pick it up and send it to me because I've lost it and I really need it and it's kind of important. I hate my room. It's terrible. It's tiny and I have a lot of stuff. It's been a never-ending cycle really of me deciding that I'm gonna get my room correct, you know, I'm gonna figure it out, figure out a system that works for me, and then I just invest a bunch of money, and then I change it all up, and it doesn't work. And this is like the 10th time this has happened. I'm embarking on the 11th, and I'm starting to get really frustrated, so I need to make this video to vent about it. Okay, let's start with the closet, shall we? Because I think that's like the mildest thing that's possibly going wrong in my room. So a couple days ago, I went into my closet and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm tired of these messy ass walls that are full of holes and scuffs in them. So I spent an entire day and painted it pink. Okay, and then I installed a second rod, so it's like two of them going like this, right? Why? Because I hate shelves, and I am not spending a single second folding clothes and putting it in a shelf. Absolutely not. So that's what I did. I installed the rod, and it's okay, other than it's freaking dark in there. Get a load of this. I'm about to turn on the light. <laughs> but that wasn't enough for me, because... For some reason, I don't know why, something possessed me and I went, you know what I want? I want a carpet in this closet, but not just any carpet. I want turf. You know, turf? Like, the thing that they put on soccer fields? Yeah. I want turf. Ah! What am I doing? Like, why? Why? Is it hormones? Is it hormones? Because if it is, somebody help. Speaking about floors and carpets, you know, I had an idea to fill my room with turf. Like, not just relegate it to my closet, the whole thing. Turf. Makes sense, right? Okay. But then I was like, you know what would be cool? You know what would be cool? You know what would be a valid use of my time? If I painted the ocean on my bedroom floor, I actually entertained that idea for like two weeks, you know? I was thinking, how could I possibly do this? And when we have to sell the house, be able to remove it so that people don't walk in here and be like, what the hell are these people smoking? So I actually thought about buying huge wood planks and just slapping it on top there and painting the ocean. What? Have I not learned from all of my painting extravagances that these huge, laborious, lengthy processes are never fun? Like, I always end them with a part of my soul just missing, you know? It's like a horcrux. Part of my soul is in the ceiling, the other one is on this mural. It, mural? Did someone say mural? Yeah. After I kind of came to the realization that the whole ocean on the floor thing's probably not gonna work, I was like, maybe I should just then, like, finish the whole room as one big mural. I have this mural on my bedroom wall right now. Yeah, I thought about just painting the whole thing. Yeah, because this was, this was fun the last time I did it. This didn't take me a whole month you know, and it took me completely out of my schedule and I didn't do homework for three weeks and didn't get a good night's sleep for a month. No, 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 it was fine. Can you tell that I'm mad? Can you tell, I'm very mad because this is, this has been in my head for a very long time now. Y'all remember this, the hammock? Remember this whole business? Guess what? It didn't work. I napped in it once and I woke up and my neck was sore. So, <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? Sleep on the floor? No. Sleep standing up? Maybe. I am crazy enough to do that. I need a real bed, you know? And unfortunately, my bedroom is full of stuff now. There isn't much space for anything else. Okay, this cardboard box needs to move out of the way, please and thank you. So I had to find a way to get a bed that wouldn't take up my entire room, because I've done that before. I've bought a king-sized bed, and it just took up my entire room. My room was the bed. So... My solution was to buy a fold-out bed. This thing is a monster, even when it's folded up. It's thick as hell. Like, it takes up so much space. It works. I slept so well. Today, I actually took a three-hour nap on this thing, and I dreamed. I dreamed 
You want to know what my dream was? I dreamed that Jenna Marbles came back to YouTube. <laughs> but obviously, we run into another issue because this is horribly ugly. You know, this is extremely unesthetically pleasing, no matter where it is in my bedroom. So I need another, I need another solution, you know? And unfortunately, there's no more space on my floor. On the, on the base level of my bedroom, we can't really fit anything else. So you know what that means? You gotta build up! <laughs> oh no! In comes the concept of the loft bed. I went on Pottery Barn Team and I started looking. There were a lot of options. Horribly expensive options, mind you. But you know what? I'm open. If this will fix my obsession with my bedroom, I'll do anything. Okay, I want to take a quick moment here and say I sleep in the same position the whole night through. I fall asleep like this and I wake up like this. So, you know, falling off of a loft bed, probably not in my cards. I'll deal with it if it does happen though. It'll make interesting content. It's a business expense, who cares? So then I started looking at these loft beds, you know, I started entertaining this idea. Whoa, a sofa underneath it? I don't need it, but it's cool. Like, what the hell? These are huge! And there's a desk too and a vanity? I don't do my makeup. I've never done my makeup, but I want a vanity. Now, I don't know who designed the loft bed. I don't know who came up with the idea of a loft bed, but whoever did was obviously missing like, I'd say 10 to the power of 30 brain cells. Why on earth would you make the height underneath a loft bed only 57 inches? I'm short. I'm tiny. If I was to walk underneath a bed like that, oops, ow, I'd hit my head. So who is this for? This is Pottery Barn Teen. Teenagers, not kids, not like two foot tall kids. And you're charging, you're charging $2,000 for this. Huh? So then I thought to myself, maybe this is just like a Pottery Barn Teen issue. Maybe there are other companies and brands that make loft beds that aren't made for like one inch tall human beings, you know? So then I searched up, <laughs> I can't believe I did this. Loft beds Canada for sale. And guess what? I found a website. Bunkbedscanada.com is the website for all things, loft beds and bunk beds and beds, period. You can get the frame only with a desk with storage, with staircase, with curtain, with a slide? I'm sorry, did somebody say slide? I want to slide in my bedroom. Oh my god, could you imagine? Like you just wake up and then you just slide down and that's it? I'm 19 years old and that's an amazing idea. Look at this monster. This specimen is otherworldly. What? There's a ladder, there's one bed, there's a second bed, and there's a third bed, and a slide. I could choose where I wanted to sleep each night. This is amazing. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. Obviously, this has been taking up like 30% of my brain capacity ever since I've seen this thing. And it's just, it's all I've been able to think about. What am I looking at? What is this? What am I looking at? No, really, who made this? Why do I want it? This is for kids. Why do people do this to me? Like, why do these things exist? I want to live in a castle. <laughs> like, look at this girl. She is having the absolute best time of her life. I want to live this life. I want to live in this photo. I want to live in an advert photo for Pottery Barn Kids. This pink Christmas tree, are you kidding me? With pom-poms on it? That's, I want that in my bedroom. I can just imagine the tea must taste so good and those cupcakes, Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? Like at the end of the day, this whole loft bed situation is probably not gonna work in my tiny ass room. So I have to kind of come to terms with that. You need to move out of the way, please. But my ideas didn't end there. Absolutely not. I want a fridge in my room. I will never have to leave my room ever again, you know? Like, I could have a fridge, I could have a freezer, a dining table. I want a dining table in my bedroom. I was gonna get a fridge. I was actually gonna get a fridge. I looked on Amazon. For weeks on end, I actually looked at these things. What? Okay, but like, that's a really cool fridge. Are you kidding me? That like looks really dope. So Joanna, if you're watching this, 
No, don't get a fridge in your bedroom. I wanted to bedazzle my calyx. The calyx, for all of you uneducated troglodytes, is the Ikea shelf that looks like this. But I wanted to bedazzle that shelf. I wanted to do it. I went on Amazon again. See, there's a reoccurring theme here. Amazon needs to get out of my computer is all I'm saying. So I went on my laptop, you know, and I did a little, a little Amazon search and I searched for crystals, uh, flowers, um, charms, you know, anything and everything that I could probably glue on there and just make it look cool. It would take probably years to bedazzle this whole thing. The surface area of that thing is crazy. There's no point to that. Nobody is gonna benefit from it. You're not gonna benefit from it, Joanna. When you're on your deathbed, you know, I'm not gonna be thinking about that one time that I decided to bedazzle my calic. I wanted a tabletop full of terrariums. This is a terrarium I made about a year ago. You know, it lights up. It's, it's got the whole 10 miles. It's pretty. It's one of my favorite things in this room. But I wanted a tabletop full of them. Again, what is the point of this? It doesn't add anything of value to my life at all. But it's cool, and it looks cool. Hey, okay, sorry, my camera just died. It's probably tired of all my screaming and ranting, but... Guess what, buddy? You're gonna have to deal with a lot more. So most of you probably know this, but I am, in fact, addicted to nail polish. It's a severe problem of mine, and... Unfortunately, I don't think there's a cure. So I've had a kind of a big dilemma for a very long time. I know it's a huge problem, terrible, groundbreaking. I don't know whether to organize my polishes by brand or by color. You know, by brand, you get the aesthetically pleasing view of every bottle being the same size, but then the colors, you know, there isn't like, a nice red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet kind of spectrum. I've kind of decided that, you know what? I'm gonna forego the whole bottle uniformity and I'm just gonna organize it by color. So I spent, I'd say five hours yesterday organizing my polishes by color. But here's the thing. You cannot just organize your polishes by color because there is a little something called undertones. This red is very different from this red. If you keep on going, this won't turn into pink. It'll turn kind of into like a brownish yellow. And this kind of will go through the whole spectrum of colors. Needless to say, I almost had a mental breakdown organizing these things. It was, I, I cried. I actually cried. It was so overwhelming. Where does beige fit into this? What is the precursor to beige? What color does it come from? It's just sitting here and it has nothing to do. What? Anyways, I digress. The whole thing about the polishes was I needed a new way to organize them. So I went on YouTube and I came across Simply Nail Logical's nail polish shelf. and I decided that I wanted one too. As I've said before, I'm very pressed for space here in my bedroom. There is barely any space on my walls to build a shelf. We even went to Home Depot. We went to Home Depot and we browsed all the pieces of wood. I actually looked at this. I can't believe I'm saying this. But we went to Home Depot, I looked at the pieces of wood and I was like, you know what? I. I'm kind of over it. I mean, I'm not gonna put it past me. I'll probably show up like next week with a, a whole ass nail polish shelf on the wall behind me. Be prepared, honestly. <laughs> I was gonna glue fairy lights all over my walls. Like the whole thing. Just one huge mess of fairy lights. And you know what? It almost happened. It nearly happened. I almost fell into the belly of the beast. I had planned an entire day where I was gonna glue these stupid things all over my walls. Like, what? Wh what? I've lost it. I've actually lost it. This is too much. I can't- What even is this video? What have I just made? So yeah, uh, that was this thing. If you liked it, subscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I never ask you to subscribe to my stupid nonsense. Yeah, this was kind of a very sporadic video. Sorry if it kind of made no sense. I didn't really have the energy to write out a whole kind of plan for it, so uh, this is what you're kind of getting. Don't worry, there'll be a more cohesive video tomorrow. And <laughs> ah! Ah! What if I go backwards? Does it work? Ooh, no it doesn't.
Overwhelmed, overworked, overpaid. I'm on top of the world, sitting pretty on a stack, but the static still cracks in my veins. At the bottom of the universe, I'm feeling all the weight. People die for this. People lie for this. People, I can't say that or else I get demonetized. It's an interesting dichotomy of monetized sincerity, surrounding insecurity with cause and uncertainty. <laughs> Generation of anxiety, the look at me, society, Dubai, the assignment, the gods will suffer silently. <laughs>